is a special edition of NBC10 at issue with Philadelphia Independent mayoral candidate Wally Dion Brunner. And the special edition of NBC 10 at Issue continues. I'm Steve Highsmith, and with me, candidate for mayor, Wally Diop Brockman. Let's get right to a question from a viewer, uh, Ruby from South Philadelphia, asks, how is your position different than Mayor Nutter on creating meaningful employment and alleviating poverty in the black community? Well, my position is different because I actually have a position. Uh, you know, it's interesting because, uh, you know, the federal government came out with a recent statistic, uh, Labor Department in particular, saying, saying that uh, the rate of unemployment for uh, black teenagers rose from last year at 36 percent to this year at a little bit of over 48 uh, percent. That's a drastic increase. Uh, at the same time, uh, there's a situation where uh, the question of how to address poverty and hunger, the city of Philadelphia having the second highest highest uh, child hunger rate in the country. These are real issues that have up until now come unaddressed. But I do have a program, for example, an urban agricultural program that um, I actually held a town hall meeting to lay out in a concrete way of how the three million dollars at the time when the curfew, the youth curfew was a weekend phenomenon using $56,000 per week and um, I said, look, with $3 million, $56,000 per weekend, you can actually employ over 250 students of the Philadelphia School District. You can uh, transform over 40 empty lots in the city of Philadelphia in the community gardens, providing a way to feed the entire community that surrounds those gardens. That's just one example and the many others in, within the existing budget parameters that we have right now. Obviously, you've been calling for a number of years for a restructuring and a reprioritizing of how tax dollars are spent and how people who are in lower e income groups, poorly educated people, are uh, given better chances at life. Yes. Fair enough to say that? Yes. You were doing this same kind of protest at City Council, we'll take a look at, at one piece of video, in 2009, yes. in March, and you were holding up a sign, a <laughs> civil affairs officer comes up to you, and why don't you explain what you were thinking at this point? Uh, you saw him come up to you, start to move the sign, and he eventually will put his hand on your throat. Well, you know, my initial thought, this is a defining moment in the question of free speech in the city of Philadelphia and in this country. Um, as you can see, um, I now was you, attacked. You did push back a little bit there. You tried, you had your hand or arm that you waved down. You did take a couple steps forward. You did push back. Mm -hmm. And is it fair to say that objectively at that point you were resisting arrest? I think the question is, is it fair to say the police had a right to attack me for holding up a sign? And the answer is no. And to answer your first question, my initial thought when I think about that particular incident is that it is a defining moment in the question of free speech in this city and in this country where uh, an, an activist, a grassroots activist, not a politician, but someone who has been on the front lines in the struggle for real economic and social justice in this city, uh, goes into a city council meeting. And I with the a benefit of a big media budget, but only with the sign saying stop the war on the black community, uh, brutally attacked by the police in the presence of other demonstrators, uh, many of whom were white uh, uh, liberals, labor unions, etc. But I was the one that was uh, targeted. Didn't, didn't that sign say throw nutter in the gutter? Uh, yes, it did. Yeah, that's kind of violent image. It said, throw nut in the gutter, stop the war in the African community. And I, it also said, a uh, billion dollars for jobs and businesses for the African community, not police containment. Did you feel that you were disrupting city council uh, prior to this incident? Well, that was my intent. I definitely did not want the city council meeting to proceed mm -hmm. without the intervention from the voice of the people. Does city council have a right at some point to be able to say, we can't get business done. If you can't be quiet, we're going to have to remove you or anyone else? Of course. But the question was not of me uh, making it impossible for the city council meeting to go forward. So, in other words, this played out. You were convicted and given two years probation, correct? Correct. Is that probation up? No, it's still going okay, on. It's still going on. And you were given a fine. How's the fine paying going? The fine paying is going fine. Are you even though the at all? fine is, in, of course not. Even though the fine uh, is a form of uh, theft. Uh, 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 what's the word, blackmail or mm -hmm. extortion. Uh, I totally condemn and reject the notion that I owe this uh, city uh, money for, and when in fact I was the one that was attacked by the police. In fact, I would say that the Philadelphia court system owes me and tens of thousands of other people who have been railroaded by the system. Have you ever thought about filing a lawsuit? Because some people, uh, I'm not making a judgment here, I'm, I'm raising an issue. We'll look at that tape, and that's, that's all we're showing right now at this point. You know, someone may allege something happened before or after. 
But if, if we're showing that, it doesn't look like aggravated assault. It looks like there's a confrontation that obviously took place. I mean, I would have to say I was definitely assaulted in an you, aggravated manner by the police. I'm talking about you were convicted of aggravated assault, correct? Right. Yeah, but do, do you feel that you were exercising that kind of violence, whether it was justified or in retaliation against a police officer? Of course not. All right. And you, plead, you, you fought it and lost? Correct. And do you plan to pursue this any further, either a civil suit or anything I, else? I think, or is this, I think the result is this, is this proof of what you think is wrong with the system? Is that how you're looking at it? Oh, yes. All right. More to come, including the Uhuru movement, as Wally Diop Rockman sees it ahead on NBC 10 Edition. Stay tuned. You're watching the special edition of NBC 10 Edition.